Hey guys, so in this video we're actually going to conclude our gas management module segment of our uh, training by going over the dashboard and all the different reports that are available and also talk about all the different settings and customizations on the gas side that are available in C-Store Pro. Uh, this is meant for more of the owners or managers so they can see and get details. This is not meant for employees. So, you know, if you want to just view this for the owner, that's basically what this uh, segment is for. So, assuming you're doing your day reports now, by this time where you're entering in all of your gas, you know, sales, the gallons, the dollar amount, you're also, you know, entering in your tank readings, you're doing the gas deliveries, the gas payments, uh, and, you know, entering in the cost and all that stuff. Uh, now you can start getting a good handle on actually what's happening with your gas component. So for example, if I were to go into gas and dashboard, I can now get a quick snapshot of what's going on with my fuel cells, um, with all my gra gas grades. I can also look and see what's actually happening with each of my pool margins. So this is my pool profit per gallon for yesterday. And it has a nice little calculation formula at the bottom that tells you how this is calculated. Your average selling price for that day was $179.91. It's taking your total dollar amount that you collected for that grade divided by the total gallons and that's your average selling price. Because you've been entering in the cost and all that stuff, the system now knows what your average cost is and basically it's calculating your fuel profit and telling you what your net profit for that day is. It does this basically for all of your components in your store gas grades basically in your store so this is a good indication of your poor margins before credit card fees and all that stuff now the next thing is because you've been entering in all of your tank reports and all that stuff or, you know the stick readings and all that now the system knows what you're selling system knows what you're buying system also knows what your closing numbers are so now if you go into tank report and let's say you run your tank report for last month for your regular grade you'll basically get your opening, purchase, sold, closing, inches, gallons, and what your short over is. And at the bottom, it gives you a nice little total. And it tells you what your tolerance should be based on what your volume that you're selling. Now, you can always export this data to Excel or you can print this out right from here. And I'll give it to you a nice little flow chart. Now, if you don't want it in landscape, you want it in portrait, you can just do it in portrait and it'll just fit it all to one page. Um, you can do the same thing for all the different gas grades that you have you know obviously if your plus is blended then when you run your plus report it's not going to show anything because it's a blended tank right uh, and then you can run your super and your diesel etc uh, another key thing that I wanted to talk about here before I kind of move over to the other reportings and settings is doing your gas adjustments uh, as you know depending on the weather your tank may shrink or expand or you know the fuel will obviously shrink or expand so occasionally every month or every three months you want to do your adjustments for your fuel inventory to reflect your profit so you know and sometimes you may have a very small minor leak as well which is not you know really a big deal but you want to go into your gas inventory and once every three months just do an adjustment of your inventory or preferably once a month right come in here and you can just say okay I want to do it for the beginning of the month now the system basically already knows what your system was and what your actual is and it's actually already calculating the adjustment saying that hey you know what your adjustment for this time frame will be about nine hundred dollars so go ahead and make that adjustment so that your profit report comes out accurately because it will basically adjust your inventory by this much and take this much add this much to your profit basically because the system and your actual is off by this much uh, so be sure to do that and if you have any questions, I know this may be a little complicated, but don't hesitate to contact C-Store Pro at 281-265-2299 if you do have any questions on that. Now, once you're doing all that stuff, now you can get a complete control of your fuel. So you can go into gas and reports and let's say for example, I want to run my profit report for February. You can go down the list and it'll give me a, you know, grade by grade and the total profit. So I have my gallons, my profit for regular, plus super, diesel, and if I go down to the bottom, you know, I'll be able to see what my uh, gallons, the total profit, my credit card fees, my freight cost for that day if I had any, it is giving my total cost and my net profit after my fees and everything taken into account. If I scroll down to the bottom, it'll tell me any commission or any credit card fees, and then my net profit, before my adjustment and then also after my gas adjustment and it also give me my poll margins that I'm making about 10 cents a gallon 
if I want to run, let's say for example, my sales log, I can run my sales log for that same time frame, which will give me a day by day breakdown of my what my sales are and what my average cash price is uh, for that day for each of my grades. Uh, and then at the bottom, it kind of gives me a nice little projection of what my sales are anticipated to be. If I go, let's say for example, for this month, run the report based on so my sales so far, it's telling me that my anticipated 30 day projections are over here. Now, these same projections, at least for the gallon wise, you can actually get also by going into your day closing dashboard and it'll tell you what your 30 day projections are for your gas sales according to what's happening so far this month. Um, let's go back to the gas reports for last month and now you also have your jobber logs. This is mainly meant for your jobbers uh, to be honest with you. It just tells you how much the jobber owes you or how much you owe the jobber on any given basis. So as of yesterday, you know, according to all your sales and you know, your credit cards and all that stuff, they basically, they owe you this much money, $4,953. So this becomes more of your asset than in this case. Uh, you have your purchase logs as well, which tells you a grade by grade and whenever you're making purchases, You'll notice over here, it's giving you your weighted cost. So a good example of this is telling you that, hey, you had this much inventory in your tank when you got this load. And you got this load for this much amount. But the amount that was actually in your inventory cost a little bit more. So your actual weighted cost is actually $1.62 for. And this does this for basically all of your gas grades. It's a good indication of knowing what your actual cost of your fuel in your tank is. It's not first in, first out, it's actually the weighted average. Uh, you have your inventory at cost report as well. This is more of an asset for you. Uh, you can run this report, let's say for this last month, and it'll tell you what your closing inventory was um, for this gas grade, right? So it's basically telling you what your gallons and your dollar amount based on your cost, and it's telling you what your cost is, 164. So this is how much inventory you had at the end of this month. So for example, if I want to know what my inventory is right now in my store, if I just do this month, run the report, tell me that as of right now, this is how much inventory I have at cost and at, re you know, basically in my store. I can always run a cash card log report as well if you have cash, ca gas cash cards. So let's say I run it for February. If you had any, you would see what your gas cash card amount was and what your commission was for that day. Um, that's pretty much the gist of the reports. I know I kind of went through that very quickly. Keep in mind that you can always export these reports or print them out, um, you know, in PDF or, ex you know, basically to your local printers if you wanted to. One last thing I also want to talk about is the settings. So in the settings, if you have separate cash prices and credit card prices and you want to make your fuel price changes from the system, if you have it separate, go ahead and set this to yes. Uh, and then you can get an email confirmation whenever your gas prices are being changed at the store. So if your manager is changing gas prices through the system, you'll get an email confirmation that these gas prices were changed. Um, and if you have just a cash only, then you can just set it up as yes, cash only. Um, so once you do that, your you know employees or whoever you want to basically allow to do gas price, price changes, you can just go to price book and gas prices and enter in your gas prices in the system. It'll show you what your cost is and what your current gas price is and you can just set your new uh, cash price over here and then send it to the register. So that concludes our training for the gas management con uh, module of C-Store Pro. Uh, if you have any other questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to call our team uh, at 281-265-2299 or just get support from the support uh, portal. Thanks guys.